everybody, Mrs. Heise here. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the scroll saw. This right here is our scroll saw, and what it's used for is cutting irregular shapes, or you can actually get some really intricate details with it too. Um, you should have a scroll saw study guide sheet along with you, so you can follow along with that while we're, you're watching this video. Now, a couple things that you need to know. Let's point out some of the main parts of the scroll saw. Right here we have our tension knob. The tension knob helps keep tension on our blade. We want our blade to be in here nice and tight. If it's not in there tight, what's gonna end up happening is your blade is going to break or it will bust out. Um, if that is to happen while you're using it at all, the first thing that you wanna do is just turn the power off. Speaking of power, right here we have a power button. It just says on or off. When you turn it on, let's move some things out of the way. If I turn it on, my blade just simply goes up and down, all right? The other thing that we have is our upper guard. This right here is going to help keep our material in place that we're cutting, all right? You want this to be resting right on your material that you're cutting. So to do that, we have a lead screw right here. We're just simply going to loosen this up and then we can adjust the height whatever way we need it. Now, I don't want to have any room in between my material and my blade guard. So I'm just simply going to set this down on my uh, piece of material and then I'm gonna tighten this up so it stays in place. Now when you back this out, the blade guard will probably go down just a little bit. That's okay. Now when we're gonna start, we don't wanna have our material pushed right up against our blade, all right? You wanna start with your material outside of the blade, all right? Um, when you're working, make sure your table area right here is nice and clean. You only wanna have your material on the table. So anything else that you have, if you have your directions with you or anything, please make sure you place them down below like that. Now, once you have your material, you need to make sure that it's all ready. You're gonna have some type of a pattern that you're gonna be cutting out. Now, I'm gonna use a marker on this. Normally, you're gonna to wanna to use pencil because if you do have any lines that you make on there, you can erase them. With a marker, it's gonna seep into the wood. So I'm just simply gonna make a design or just to cut the piece out so you can see how we can have nice little easy lines. When we're doing this, we're gonna just place it simply down on the board and make sure you have your safety glasses on, okay? And I'm just simply gonna get my material ready. Make sure that your fingers are at least two inches away from the blade, okay? If you have any really tiny cuts, see the teacher and I can help you out with that. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn this on, and I'm simply gonna follow along my pattern line. You might need to adjust your hands for where you're going to cut. Go slow, don't force your material into the blade. The blade does all the cutting. Watch where your hands are at all times. And when you get to the end, don't force it out. It'll simply cut it for you. Take your piece out, turn it off. Then, you can see I just cut really nice sharp corners, like so, and they fit together. Okay, if you have any questions when you're cutting, please make sure you turn it off and ask the teacher. Uh, sometimes if you have really tiny little pieces um, and you need to get in there, you need to make what's called relief cuts. Now a relief cut is something, if I had a tiny little piece, like so, I wouldn't just be able to come in here with the blade because it might end up twisting the blade and breaking it. So what you wanna do is you just would make a cut simply from the edge to your piece the edge to the other piece, and as you cut, those pieces would then break off. Now this is a very tiny piece, so you want to make sure that you ask for help when you're cutting tiny pieces. That's how we use the, the scroll saw. If you have any questions at all, please make sure you ask. 